North Sioux City travel agent is under criminal investigation, according to the city's police chief. Yeah, this comes after multiple people filed complaints against Kayla Wagner, saying their trips through her travel agency, KLW Travels, were canceled without permission. And now they're out a lot of money. KTV's Matt Hoffman spoke to some of those customers. He joins us live in studio tonight with more on this investigation, Matt. Yeah, that's why, right, Larry. And guys, imagine this. You arrive in a foreign country for your vacation with your family, only be told you don't have any transportation or anywhere to stay. Now, that was the reality for one family. For another, they arrived at the airport only to be told their flights were reserved but never paid for. These families tell a similar story, that they paid for their vacations through KLW Travels, either in part or some in full, but their vacations were canceled without their knowledge. Holly Baker says her vacation group is owed more than $20,000 after they arrived in Cancun, Mexico, but found out they didn't have transportation or accommodations. That's four different families, Baker says, that paid out of pocket to continue their vacation. And 10 kids, and it's a very popular time to travel. Um, I, I can't even describe how our group was feeling like. It wasn't until Baker and her group returned home and made a post about her experience with KLW Travels that she realized the full extent of the problem. That post has dozens of comments, including from other families who had their own trip canceled. Sarah Zupp says her group is owed some 16000 With each other because we have both shared this similar experience. I want my money back and I want her to be held accountable for putting people through this and I want her business done. I don't want her to be able to do this to anybody else. We're here in North Sioux City at the listed address for KLW Travels to see if the business is still in operation after these allegations, or what the status might be. We went inside and there is no sign KLW Travels is there anymore. The window has plastic over it. There are no more remnants or signs of the travel agency. Looks like renovations are currently underway. Kayla Wagner, the travel agent, declined our request for an on-camera interview. In a statement, Wagner says in part, quote, we want to categorically state that these rumors are baseless and inaccurate. Our company is legitimate, fully licensed, and bonded, and we take pride in conducting our business with the highest ethical standards, end quote. In a phone interview, Wagner tells KTIV the cancellation claims have been submitted to her travel insurance. Both families KTIV spoke with question if this is proper. Donnie Holstein, a member of Baker's party, contacted the travel agent's vendor who provided documentation that their trip was canceled before their trip even started. Mine was dated February 6th. We left on the 15th for our trip, so she was well aware that we didn't have a place to stay. Now here is the rest of Wagner's statement. It reads, quote, we are actively addressing these issues through proper legal channels and are closely working with our travel insurance providers to resolve any claims or disputes. It continues, we want to assure our clients, partners, and the community that we are handling the situation professionally and in accordance with all applicable laws and regulations. Finally, it reads, we appreciate your understanding and continued support as we navigate through this challenging time. Also, Tag Siouxland, a local small business, released a statement. It says in part, quote, it has been reported that one of our affiliated business partners KLW Travels has allegedly been involved in fraudulent activities related to travel bookings. That statement continues, we feel obligated to share this information with you, considering we've been promoting KLW Travels to the TAG community over the past 11 months. Now, the chief says the criminal investigation remains underway. Again, he says he's received four criminal complaints, though he encourages anyone else who may be impacted to contact the North Sioux City Police Department. So far, guys, he says Wagner has been cooperative. All right.